Well, discouragement is comes very easily to people and the doubts come you know when you're with a project for so long um it's inevitable um and so the way that i found to deal with it is um really not to seclude myself and shut myself off but to open myself up and to ask for that help and seek out that guidance um, and sometimes it doesn't come and sometimes people don't see what you see or your message or you know um, they don't see the potential in your piece and that's important too um, and that's a little discouraging um, but that inspires you to go back and look at it um, and it should. And it's it's taking every um, event that happens with the work, taking it in a positive light and looking for how can I change this? How can I um, make this a positive experience instead of just beating myself up? Why isn't this working? Why, you know, why don't they believe in this? Um, it's and a second birth was a very special experience because it sort of was like from the get-go everyone believed in it and opened doors and that's not how it always is. My next play, um, Give Me Moonlight, which was my thesis project, was sort of uh, a huge, you know, uh, it was the complete opposite experience because sort of everyone was like why would you want to write a period piece about you know people in the wild west um and no one really believed in it and so I kind of got lost because when I got um the idea for a second birth I had a message I had a place to go um I had something to say about that and with give me moonlight I was more searching for what to do um and what I really wanted to focus on um, and so it depends from piece to piece, um, but it's always keeping uh, your core, um, I guess, solid and um, to keep yourself motivated to do it.